Welcome back, guys. Today on Epic Game World, we're going to be doing something really special. Just the other day, actually, when I was making my Minecraft video, my computer froze up and I thought I lost my video recording in OBS. And I actually did for a while. Stayed on there for about an hour trying to figure out ways to recover it until I finally came across a program that could do it really, really easily. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did this. And I'll walk through it with you and show you just how to do it. Give you a link to the file in the description and hopefully be able to save some of your uh, incredible OBS projects that you thought you have lost. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get into this right now. We're just going to go into Minecraft. And I already have, uh, actually, let's create a world over here. And we'll create a new world. Let's see here. We'll just call it um, Fix crashed obs wow there we go and we'll just make it a creative continue and let's just create it okay really not going to be playing minecraft right now i just kind of want to show you how exactly this works so it is super simple and like on mine i do have a separate audio track and it even keeps my audio track separate so it's really cool you walk into minecraft you're playing you're getting your wood you're doing all your cool stuff look at that get my wood get my wood and then all of a sudden go ahead and just pause this for a second let's show you what happens here processes and we're just going to go ahead and crash our obs so the obs is going to just go down we're going to end it boom obs is crashed uh oh what happened to my file well this is where i was recording right here what was that so here's where I was recording right here. And this is the file. All right. So we're going to go ahead and close Minecraft. And here's the file right here that we just recorded. Open it up and it is no good. Can't play the file. So what are you going to do? Seems like there's no hope. What you do, go download this program right here. Go untrunk and just get the 64 bit or the 32 bit version, whatever corresponds to your operating system. And once you have that file, once you have that program, Go in here and you run it. And we're going to run the untrunked GUI right here. It's really simple. Okay, so now you're going to want to go ahead and pick a reference file. So click reference file. And what it means by reference file is you're going to pick a file that was created in the same, the same setup of OBS as your file that was damaged. So I'll just grab this file right here. This was created in the same setup. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my truncated file. This is the file that was damaged. You just click on that. You click repair. That's it. It's done. Go back into the OBS folder right here. And here it is. The file we just made. And now this does have the separate audio tracks. We can go ahead and put that on. Something really special. Just the other day, actually, when I was making my Minecraft video, and there you see it's fixed. This is the video. This is the video that we just made in here that was just corrupted. It was just damaged. Fix crash OBS file. This is what we just made. We just crashed OBS, destroyed the file. Was able to come in here, regain the file with the independent audio track, everything working perfectly in sync. It even keeps my audio track separate. So it's really cool. You walk into Minecraft, you're playing, you're getting your wood. So, anyhow, guys, I mean, it's just really that simple to fix your destroyed OBS files, your damaged OBS files. If ever it happens to crash on you for whatever reason, this is all you need to do. It literally takes seconds. The file that I fixed was the one I just posted my Minecraft survival um, with the pillager raid. And that file is like, it was like 10 gigabytes and it literally fixed it in, I don't know, 30 seconds or something. So it's just completely incredible. Anyhow, guys, I will leave a link in the description for the file that you need. And you can just follow the video for exactly how to do it. And I really hope this helps you hopefully fix a file in the future or maybe fix a damaged file that you've been holding on to that you were hoping there was some way that you could get it fixed again. So guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you never miss out on another video on Epic Game World. See you guys next time.